What's up bro? Today I want to talk about a topic and the topic is boredom. Now a lot of people are really scared of boredom, right? They don't want to be bored. Being bored is a bad thing and that's something that we've just learned from being a kid I guess. Just being bored is a bad thing and in this day and age in the modern world with, with TikTok, with Instagram reels, with YouTube shorts, it's so easy to not be bored, right? You can just literally pull up your phone that's in your pocket and scroll through any app you want. Doom scroll, you can watch videos, you can go on your laptop and watch a film, you can watch porn, you could just even like vaping, right? If you're bored, you could just pull out a vape and just start vaping. And I think it's going to be more and more important for a lot of people on self-improvement like myself to realise that being bored is really what might separate you from the rest of your competition, right? Think about this. When you don't allow yourself to be bored, you need to do something else, which is usually a distraction. So put it this way, when I'm, before I'm filming a video, I always get this notepad up, right? I get this notepad in front of me and a pen and I just jot ideas down. I come up with ideas about self-improvement. I look at other YouTubers and I look at their video titles and look at what they've made and try and come up with my own spin on it and you know if it relates to something that I've experienced and in order to do that process and to think clearly and to come up with ideas sometimes I just have to sit here and just stare <laughs> through the window or stare at a wall and just be bored right um, I've done it for <laughs> about 40 minutes before filming I've filmed three videos now consecutively and I wanted to just talk about this because it's literally just happened. I just had to literally put my phone here on the tripod with my notepad here. And I was just sat here, just like the page was empty. There was nothing on it. And I'm thinking, what the fuck shall I talk about? I need to make some videos. Come on, let's get some ideas. And I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think, and nothing's coming to me. So I just sat here and just was pretty bored, right? It's a Saturday. I could be doing anything else right now. I could be playing video games. I could go for a walk. I could go to the gym, right? I could do all these things, but I just wanted to film some videos because I just want to get ahead in the content, right? That's fine. That's about all, all YouTube is about. is just like getting ahead with content because it is hard. Um, so I needed to be bored. Now, let's say I didn't allow myself to be bored and I was like, ah, oh, fuck this. I'd just get my phone and I could just start scrolling through Instagram. I could start scrolling through YouTube shorts. I could just pick up a PS4 controller, put my PS4 on and just start playing games. I wouldn't get any content made. And this happens every day that I sit down to make content. I have to have a period of just being bored in order to come up with the ideas. Because if your mind is bored, it's basically got nothing in it, nothing to stimulate it, not no dopamine being released or anything like this. You have ideas just float up to the surface. If you have a task that you need to do, like you need to do some homework or an essay or something, you could be sat in front of your computer with a blank word document open we've all been there we've got to, we've got to start typing in our uh, essay or do our homework you know and we would all sit in front of our computers and have this blank document open and just have this like creative block where we just can't think about anything to write we don't know what to do and i used to do it back in the day when i was um doing my a levels at school i used to have my laptop open i had to write a big document about like some business thing it was super boring i didn't care about it but i had to do it and my phone would be on the side and I would just always just instinctively just go and pick up my phone and start scrolling through social media. And I think it's so important that we just allow ourselves to sit and just be bored. You can like out bore your competition. OK, so if you have a YouTube channel, if you're running some drop shipping company, if you're like running print on demand, if you've got some business or some content creation, thing, whatever you're doing, if you just allow yourself to be bored and your competitors aren't doing that, I think you can get ahead, seriously, because I think you'll have more ideas float up to the surface. I think you'll be, your mind will be more clear. It's not going to be cluttered with just like stuff you've seen on YouTube shorts, stuff you've seen on reels, and you're going to be able to come up with, be, be more creative, essentially. So how can we allow ourselves to just be more bored? Well, we need to remove all the distractions out of our lives. So one of the things that's obviously helped me in the past, I think it's been nine months now, I've not had any social media. So I made the decision to delete social media completely off of my phone. So I don't have any social media on this phone. So if I, you know, I've got my phone here, I record my videos on my phone, but like, so let's say I had a camera 
I would be sat in front of this camera now with my notepad here and I would be very tempted if I had social media to go onto my phone and go on social media. But because I don't have any social media on my phone, I literally can't do that. So what's the next thing? Uh, PS4, right? I had to move my PS4 downstairs um, a while ago because I literally, like if it was up here, I would be so tempted to go on it. And I've kind of like trained myself to just not want to play on it anymore if I've got stuff to do. So that is another thing you can do, right? Just get it out of your environment. Get the get the PlayStation out of your immediate environment so that if you have something you need to do, you can just focus on that thing. And you need to just like block out a section of time where you need to focus on that thing. And let's say, let's say you're a YouTuber, right? Like me, and you need to record some videos. You get your phone in front of the on the tripod, whatever, the the, the uh, notepad out to record, to jot down some ideas, to script, whatever like that. You can literally set up like two or three hours in the day to record some videos, right? And in that two or three hours, like one hour out of that might just be you sat here just trying to think about what to do. And that is work. That is you working, right? You're like this channel and everything that I make on this channel and everything that every other YouTuber makes on their channel is all a like product of what's come out of their head, right? So if your head is full of dopamine of like ideas that you've seen from YouTube shorts and Instagram and you're thinking about that meme that your friend sent you and you're thinking about uh, Call of Duty or something or you're thinking about porn like how are you going to come up with ideas for YouTube how are you going to come up with ideas for your business and um, how are you going to be able to write that blog how are you going to be able to do your homework your exams your essays whatever right if your head is full of random dopamine content do you know what I mean like you need to be bored like that is an important part of of just self-improvement in general i think is to just have a dopamine detox remove all the dopamine from around you from your immediate environment and to block out that time where you're going to do your work your kind of productive um like two three hours of the day right and part of that two or three hours is going to require you to just be bored and i think it's just an important thing that not a lot of people talk about right the idea of being bored. We're all scared of being bored for some reason, right? We're all scared of it. So if you're going to be bored, you may as well be bored at a time where you need to do some work so you can just be bored and then some ideas will come up to the surface. It's, what's, it's literally what's happened to me just now to make this video and to make the previous two videos on the channel, right? I'm wearing the same hoodie. The previous two videos on the channel is literally just me being sat here and just being bored. And that was when I came up with those videos. So just a quick video. I think it's important. If you're scared of being bored and you just think you need to constantly occupy your day with stuff, right? Scrolling, playing, whatever, just get that out of your head, right? It's totally fine to be bored. Um, in fact, I'd say you're wasting more of your life and more of your time filling up your time with pointless activities. You may as well have that time to just think, to just allow your brain to just randomly start firing off different ideas. Um, and what I found is, it, you know, when I'm just sat in front of this camera with the notepad blank, I'll be bored for like 10 minutes, I'm just sat here thinking, what to, you know, what shall I, what shall I do? And then after about 10, 10 minutes, I'd say, I just randomly get an idea and it just comes into my head. I'm not even really thinking about self-improvement or anything like this. I'll just think about, oh yeah, the gym, progressive overload. No, I've not talked about that. Do you know what I mean? And then I'll just sort of write, start writing. And then and you actually know, I've made a video on it and uh, that video might not do well. I don't know yet. I've not uploaded it. It might not do well. It might do really well. I have no idea, right? So that's the whole process behind that. And yeah, that's the whole kind of logic behind it. I just think being bored is something that not a lot of people talk about. And I think it is quite important. So uh, yeah, I hope you found that valuable in some way. Um, and thank you for watching. Uh, improve yourself by 1% every day. See ya.